The Centers for Disease Control had previously given safety guidance to places of worship with precautions like not sharing hymnals, avoiding choirs, and limiting attendance. Well, now, in its recently released playbook to reopen, the country, the CDC, has completely eliminated those previous references. Paula Tupman, taking a closer look. So this is the CDC's plan that was released very quietly late last night. They call it basically the president's plan for opening America up again. It's 60 pages. It addresses schools, businesses, and a variety of other entities. But take a look, because when I type in words like church, mosque, temple, or even worship, nothing comes up. Many have figured out their own guidance. We still are looking at safety, we're looking at data, we're looking at medical science, and uh, we're taking all of that into consideration before we reopen the sanctuary. There is a concern about the CDC's omission to include places of worship in any official guidance. A lot of this may just stem from the CDC wanting to stay out of that fray of uh, constitutional questions. Dave Dulio is the director of the Center for Civic Engagement and a political science professor for Oakland University. Unfortunately, what we've seen over the last several months is that the CDC and other uh, government entities that have traditionally been above the political fray have been taken down into it. I think it's problematic for sure because we want citizens to be able to count on information that comes from non-political offices so that they can use it in their daily life and, and feel good about it. Things left out by the so-called Bible of public health by the CDC. I find it hard to believe that they wouldn't even, you know, kind of say, here's, if we were you, this is what we would suggest. Paula Tutman, Local 4.